Hello, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. I'm Stacey and welcome back to Farmer's Wife Homestead. So, in the spirit of scratch cooking, using what you have, I have leftover, I know, leftover, salted caramel, how is there leftover? I made two batches of this and um, quite a few people didn't show up to our gathering last night um, so we had plenty of leftovers so I'm going to turn this into something different and I also have I can open it some leftover Hershey's chocolate sauce so I'm going to many many moons ago probably a couple of years ago now I um, posted a, an ice cream video. I think I made cookies and cream, if, I, if I'm correct. And it's just the Cheats um, ice cream. I know that you make it with, you know, egg yolks and all these other things and you cook it. But I'm just doing the quick Cheats ice cream with condensed milk and cream. And I'm going to make salted caramel swirl, hopefully, if it works, ice cream. We're going to set that. And then we're going to turn this chocolate sauce into chocolate crackle. Some place, we, I think we call it magic, magic top or magic, uh, magic shell, Mag, magic shell. And basically all it is is chocolate sauce and um, uh, a thickening agent to make it go hard like uh, coconut oil. So I will have to measure out the, you know, chocolate sauce to coconut oil ratio. So we're going to make the, the um, caramel swirl ice cream. And then we're going to scoop it once it's, it's um, because there's no churn. We're going to scoop it and then I've got some lovely uh, waffle cones. I'm going to do that and, you know, maybe make a double. We'll see. Then we're going to dip it in the hot magic shell chocolate. And then it should instantly go hard. And then I'm going to do something that you may or may have not seen before. I don't know how widely known people do this thing. But I learned it from my mother. And it's what she would do when she goes to the movies. And I remember um, in way back when I would go, hey, no, no, and then I tried it and I was sold. So it's been a bit of a family thing. Um, it's only ever uh, once in a while, big treat, but anyway, stick around to the end to watch what I do. So let's get to making this very quick and easy um, ice cream. Okay, okay, so I'm gonna use my stand mixer and you could use a, a beater you could hand whisk it if you wanted to now some people um, whisk the cream first I find that you don't need to so we've got a can of condensed milk I know I know I can hear you but this is a treat today is a very dreary it's not cold but it's raining and it kind of, I've got a day off, so it kind of makes me think about my favourite holiday movie and later on I'm going to enjoy this and watch my favourite holiday time movie, which is The Holiday. Tell me, you... Do you know that that um, movie with um, you know where they they swap swap homes? One goes to England and the other one goes to LA where it's hot and it's kind of like a Kiwi Christmas. <laughs> um, that's just one of my favourite holiday movies um, that me and my girls used to tr traditionally watch, and also The Pie. Is it? No, The Waitress. The Waitress. Um, I love that movie as well. What are your favourite holiday movies? Along with the standard Christmas movies, of course. Right, so I'm going to 
might put a little bit of the caramel sauce in now um, so that we've got a caramel flavored ice cream pop that in um, I'll start with a good heaping teaspoon and then I'll add more if I need it so we're just gonna whip this up until um, you know you get soft peaks So it is sort of just starting to come together. So I need to taste it. Put another big, I put another big heaping teaspoon in. Oh my goodness. Mm mm mm. Just getting that caramel taste. Mm. I'm going to add one more because we're going to put the swirl in as well. So we just want the undertone of the caramel and the ice cream, but it not be the dominant flavour because then you're just going to have caramel on caramel. What am I saying? Like that's a bad thing. <laughs> It is the holidays, but I am trying to lose weight. So we'll whip that until we've got soft pigs. We're not going to make the chocolate sauce until we're ready to use it. If you have a microwave, you can make it now uh, ahead of time because it will sit in the fridge and whenever you want to use it, you just microwave it or warm it up. I suppose I could make it up and then um, when I want to warm it, I could put it in a jug of hot water. But I don't have a microwave. We got rid of it. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that a little bit later on. Okay, that's as far as I want to take it. So it's sort of hot, it's holding its shape, but it's not standing on itself. But I do not want to turn it into caramel butter. So, a better look. You can't really see it on camera, but it's got a very slight um, caramel hue rather than the creamy sort of white of um, cream. That should be good. Right, I'll just show you. Plonk. I'm going to put in half, make sure that the swirl goes all the way through the ice cream and then I'm just going to take the caramel, this has been in the fridge so because you know it's got cream in it and whatnot and I'm just going to drizzle all this um, around then I'm going to use a knife and just swirl it on Miss. I'll try and find a salted caramel um, sauce recipe and link it in the description because as I said I will try and make my own but um, I just haven't as of yet. But I'll try and find something similar. I've got a glass container, but 
got plastic, that's fine, you could use that. Right, put all that in, and then we're going to finish with another flourishing of salted caramel. Right, now we're just going to get some cling film. Pop that on the top. Of course you can make coolies and, and um, make any flavoured you like. Now we're just going to pop this in the freezer and give it a few hours to set up and I'll come back to you later on um, this evening when we're ready to make the magic um, chocolate sauce and um, roll this ice cream. And of course the little bit of, uh, wow is she really doing that? <laughs> It'll be interesting to see what you guys have to say in the comments that's for sure. All right, and welcome back. Um, I have let the ice cream set overnight. Hopefully that wasn't too long, but um, I needed an ingredient. I needed some more coconut um, coconut oil because I remembered that the, the coconut oil that I've got, uh, I cooked some, uh, what do you call them? Um, shrimp shrimp um, crackers? That you get at Chinese um, food places, and I'm like, mm, shrimp, shrimp flavored choc top shell. I uh, yeah, just wasn't gonna do it for me. So anyway, um, I I had a look at 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 the um, amounts that I needed. I don't. Most people make it with just straight chocolate, so I don't know if it's gonna work. But we'll try, and if it doesn't, well, I'll just get some chocolate chips. So we'll make up the magic shell or um, yeah, you know the, the you know to top your ice creams with. So um, and I'll I, I'll actually grab the ice cream out now and just let it soften a little bit too. Hmm. There's hardly any chocolate sauce left. I think somebody's been um, being a little mouse and um, has eaten half of it. So luckily I've still got some left from the Hershey's bottle because I'm pretty sure there was quite a bit more than what there is now so that's the, the one that I'm using so I've got the element on real real low and I'm just going to get the coconut oil so it's two for one so I'm using two parts um, changing the date so I did really well yesterday and I actually remembered so today is the fifth I think let's check is the fourth so it was the fourth yesterday as well oh dear I like the idea of being organized but sometimes I'm not apparently you needed a degree to get into this so this is um refined coconut oil
hopefully it works with the chocolate sauce. I can't see why not. But we are about to find out. So as I said, nice and gentle heat. Um, so that that coconut um, oil can loosen up and melt as well. To the side, I've just made the thing that I was talking about that you may think I'm cray cray about. Some of you may already do it. I myself am a savoury kind of a girl. I prefer savoury foods over sweet. Um, so this particular treat at the movies is very much um, a sort of ticks both boxes really. I'll show you the um, ice cream. Would you look at that? Mm -mm -mm. I do love a good ice cream. So you can turn the heat up a little bit more if you're going to stand here and stir because you don't want to scorch the chocolate sauce at all. I hope you are. Uh, I hope you are enjoying Vlogmas so far. Um, day four today, and then um, yeah, we've got a few, few more days to go. Well, 20, 20 more. Fingers crossed, I can do them all. down nicely um, right what else well we're just waiting on the ice cream to soften a little bit what well, I do know what I could do I also could test it out. oh and there's something else I need to do as well right I'm going to oh it's actually still quite oh not hard at all. Okay. Salted caramel ice cream. That is literally the best ice cream I have ever tasted. Oh, yum. Oh, that is so good. And I'm not just saying that. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is so delicious. I'm not going to double double dip my spoon in there. Good to know that we don't need to um, let it soften any more though. So I'm going to get my waffle cones ready. And you know, you could use that magic shell to line the inside of your cone if you like. Um, we have ice creams over here called Trumpet. And quite often you'll find the chocolate is um, around the inside of the cone and you know about that much of the bottom is filled up um, with chocolate as well. I really hope this works. Not that I have any kids at home anymore to um, treat them with this but um, We'll just plot away at it, no doubt. Oh my gosh, that ice cream is so good. I will try and find a salted caramel recipe similar to what the Thermomix one is. You I can. will, I will endeavour to make my own recipe up. Um, but for today, I will try and find a recipe and link it. Because after all, salted caramel is salted caramel. Um, if you're going to make the ice cream though, 
just make sure that the salted caramel ha has come out of the fridge because um, it sets up a lot thicker and it's easier to work with for your ice cream. Um, if it was too thin then it's just going to go through, it's not going to set up the same way. This is just about all melted. I'm going to turn it up slightly more. Okay, it's the moment of truth. I've got a cookie scoop. Waffle cone. I'll tell you what, I'll bring you down so you can see me scooping. There, you're in the kitchen sink. So, yeah, it'd be quite nice to... Oh, would you look at this? Oh, yes. the chocolate magic shell to the ice cream oh yeah it's working is it going to go hard though that's the question no it doesn't work with syrup. Betcha it works with straight chocolate. Mm. Honestly, this salted caramel ice cream is delicious. Never mind about the magic shell. Now that I've got the chocolate out of the way, guess what I'm going to do? Don't worry. Nobody else is going to have this, but the other thing that you have at the movies, popcorn. Salted popcorn. Dip your ice cream in. <laughs> Yum. Sit back, watch uh, your favourite holiday movies. Please tell me I'm not the only one that does this. Not that I get to go to the movies very often. Oh my gosh. So good. Mm. Made a mess with the chocolate sauce. I could probably put chocolate chips into that. Maybe I should do that. thought it would have worked. Right, on the quest to make this magic shell work, I have not wasted the chocolate sauce, but I've chucked in some chocolate chips. I'm going to let that melt down, see if that makes a difference. If not, hands up in the air, I'm just letting it go. Um, I actually looked it up. There's such a thing as popcorn ice cream. Now, that would, I mean, it would be pretty similar, but 
I like that it's still crunchy and it wouldn't stay crunchy so I prefer to do it this way. Tonya my dear, these are for you. My purple bluey hydrangeas and I'm lucky that a couple of them are sort of a half between the white and the blue slash purple. I picked these just for you and I left the chocolate on the go and it's slightly scorched but never mind. <laughs> Stunning hydrangeas. Aren't they beautiful? Blue's my favourite colour, so they look good there. Magic shell, take two. Spoon. I'm just going to use a scoop of ice cream this time on a bowl, in a bowl. And now I'm just going to drizzle a little bit of the chocolate and let's see if this this one hardens up. Probably doesn't help that I'm not using the actual recipe that you're supposed to. <laughs> Typical me. what it was so obviously use the ratios of chocolate rather than chocolate sauce so don't follow my instructions because it failed mm. chocolate on caramel though like my waistline needs this it's all in the name of research for you guys <laughs> Do you believe that? I bet you if I used the right ratios, that would work. Anyway, that's alright. Thank you for joining me today and repurposing some chocolate sauce, leftover chocolate sauce and caramel sauce from the um, party that we had the other day. Oh yes, that's going, that's going hard. It's just not crack hard like proper shell. So thanks for joining me. Um, as always, I really appreciate your support and I hope that you are enjoying Vlogmas um, 2023. <laughs> and um, I will see you hopefully tomorrow for day five. All right, take care. See you later. Bye.